Here in Germany with very different traditions, but when they lock horns on the pitch, the sparks tend to fly. Der Klassiker coming up. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action as Borussia Dortmund face Bayern. And hello from the Strobel Allee. We find ourselves at the Signal Iduna Park. It's Borussia Dortmund against Bayern, a game of real residence here in Germany. Derek Ray here on the commentary gantry, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you expecting today? Well, I'm expecting a really close game today. This is a rivalry that's been really good in recent times. Yes, Bayern have dominated, but on their day, Dortmund can outplay anybody, particularly in this wonderful arena. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Marco Reus plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield, and the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. So they starting 11 for Bayern. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Dayo Ukamecano plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And so the match is underway. Brandt. Now with Bellingham. And he's made headway. He needed to get there and did. But still the possibility. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal win. this is he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance that's a great strike Well, Bayern restart the game, and that should certainly shake them up a bit. Alfonso Davies. Goretzka. Davies. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks, and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. And fired from the flank into the area. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. An unforced error, you've got to say. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Switch your play. 
Slip short passing. And players waiting in the centre. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Is this the moment? Run it well. And Bellingham. Jamal Musiala. And super tackle and they've won possession. Thomas Müller. Chupomote. And fed forwards. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Marco Reus. Brandt. And the cross goes in. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserved. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. But how has he allowed that much time and space? He does keep having to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Here. Moting almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count. I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. And that is going to be all for the first half here in Dortmund. Well, it's all been something of a struggle for Thomas Müller. I can't really believe I'm uttering those words, Stuart. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. So the ball is moving again, and you've got to say a below-par effort from Bayern in the first half. Will things be different in the second? Using his physical strength to shield it. This might have potential, but nothing comes of it. Sebastian Allaire. And Bellingham. Might be a chance here. And there it is. Another goal. And surely there's no way back from this now. is so quick and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance well, on with the action and Borussia Dortmund appear to be out of sight well, but tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially and he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Pavard. Davies. Now with Kimmich, another perfect position to read it.
Leon Goretzka. Can he take the chance? Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Oh, what an opportunity. Difficulties for the goalkeeper. Oh, a goal! It's gone in! The goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again. Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. is turning into something of a rout 4-0 20 minutes remaining well he's got past his man a corner will ensue and Dortmund will go to the bench preferred Kimi now Mane Kimi the danger not over Upamecano well the threat was very real marvellous defending well it could be on for him here Sack is so impressive, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is! Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Alain. Oh, now Alain. And he clears it out of harm's way. Alain. And he stopped them in their tracks. Brandt. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And time for the change now. <laughs> Corner kick played in. Well, not cleared away completely. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Guerrero. And there it is, the final whistle. A satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.